This is our song that we sing about our school. And it starts like this. It's amazing to think how far we've come. There were no WTA students. There was no WTA faculty. There were no classrooms with technology and other learning materials. And now we can't imagine our community without this precious Yeshiva Day School. WTA offers an exceptional academic experience for each and every child. Yeah, it's really impressive to see it in action. It's not like when, you know, we grew up in, in, in the 80s and we were in school and we had, you know, 30 kids in a class and a teacher teaching. It was like all the kids are in different groups and they're, and you know, there's one group where they're doing a work called a collaborative project where they really you see them working together and the teachers have them excited and then another group is you know, getting a pro you know actually learning with the teacher. Another one's the assistance with another group, and then you got another group at the at the computers. It, it's really impressive. One of the things that I found uh, most helpful at WTA over the last year or so is the blended learning and my son's uh, efforts to leverage his interest in technology, and most importantly for the teachers at school to take the results. Uh, from what he does and to turn that into a lesson plan that helps him with his particular issues. It's used as a great uh, diagnostic tool for the teachers to be able to teach the children better, to challenge them where they need to be challenged, to know where the kids are struggling and uh, where they can push forward. The fact that each of the students had different homework and each of the students was moving at their own pace. And so if he is excelling in a particular area, the teacher can move on to the next area. And if he's having trouble in a particular area, the teacher will spend more time on that area. And I found that it works beautifully. Whether it be uh, by the use of technology or through our blended learning rotational methodology, the teacher is able to meet each child's needs and meet with each child every day. I want the data. I want to know where she's at. I want to know where she's excelling so that we can chart her and help understand where she's going educationally and what her aptitudes are. Yeah, you would think in a school that uh, is just starting out and has much lower costs, they might not have all the specialties. They've got an art teacher who is really incredible. We are just so thrilled with the art teacher here. She is fantastic. It's not just a matter of scribbling lines on a paper. It's not just a matter of doing a self-portrait. She really ties it in with different concepts, different famous painters, different themes in art. They also have gym, two different days of different choices of after-school activities. They have a music teacher who is... He's okay. In, yeah, he's not that great. <laughs> Rabbi Rami is really a great, great music teacher. He doesn't just teach them songs, he really teaches them how to understand music. We're thrilled with the selection of teachers that WTA has. They've recruited highly experienced, wonderful, energetic individuals. What I love about working at WTA is, first of all, all the children. We do a lot of small group work, a lot of individualized learning, and it's a great time to even bond with the kids. Our model gives us a chance to know every child. Once we sit with them in small groups, we have the time to know them more deeply. Being around the students at WTA and their curiosity is so rewarding. I like to call them the aha moment, when they discover something that they never knew before or something that they know how to do, even as simple as putting on their jackets. The first time they can put on their jacket on their own, is a great moment to be there and to like witness it and they're there and they're like oh. Cat and Cat! Does that sound kind of the same? What do we hear? Shav tefillah lishlam ha-medina kulam amodom Avinu sheva shamayim Sor Yisrael v'go ala Barek et medina about Eretz Israel a lot. Eretz Israel is surrounding all day long in our kita, 
we learn Shirim of Eretz Israel, we learn the Safa, the slang of Eretz Israel. The founders of Westchester Torah Academy um, and I decided that we were going to prioritize the importance of children developing a proficiency in Hebrew language. The Hebrew immersion program is amazing. You can see already that the process is already working. Honey. Especially they're so young, it's a perfect time for them to immerse in a language and, and learn it this way. I'm just so thrilled that they have these fantastic teachers who really work hard to speak only Hebrew to the children so that they really get to learn and really get to know the language. I call the WTA really a happy place. It's, it has a very fun, almost camp-like atmosphere, but in a school. It's nice to send your kids to a really warm school where the teachers care about your kids, the principal cares about your kids, the kids know the principal. I think one of the things I really value about WTA is, is Rabbi Rami and his relationship with the kids. I mean, Eden talks about him like, it's her rabbi, you know? She knows her rabbi. She has a relationship with him. She thinks he's so silly. Every time I come for an activity, everybody is so warm, so friendly. It's such a nice community to be involved with. And that's part of what I think makes WTA such a special school. The administration is very accessible. They are so approachable, so um, available, and they are so humble. They, they know so much, and yet when people have feedback or questions or concerns, they, their ears are open and they want to know what they can do. The reason I chose to send to WTA is because I'm very um, proud of its mission, which is to um, give affordable education that doesn't sacrifice on educational quality. We knew right away that WTA was the right choice for us. Ellie is eager to go to school every day, she comes home happy, smiling, singing. Sending our daughter to Westchester Torah Academy, it wasn't just we wanted to be part of this experiment. We, we really thought that this would be a great opportunity for her. The founders of the school had a mission to create an affordable Jewish education because we believe it's very important that every Jewish child who wants to have access to a Jewish education has one. But, but most important that that affordable Jewish education is a high quality education, not only in Judaic studies but in secular studies as well. And we feel we've, we've accomplished this to a large degree in such an early and quick period and uh, we're looking to build on this and to grow it and to make it stronger and stronger every year. One of the things that I find and experience as so amazing here is the culture. Of course there's a rich learning environment in every classroom, but you can feel the sense of our bold mission where everything is possible. I think it was a moment where my husband and I were in the kitchen and we overheard him singing, totally feeling like he wasn't being watched or listened to, and he was just singing tefillot, benching, davening, and it was just such a great feeling to know that we made the right choice. How nice is that? You know, how nice is that that they're getting, they're learning that Torah, they're learning about Judaism, and they're just bringing so much joy. And they're getting, she's getting that from school. The best part of WTA is the students. Their curiosity, their hunger for exploration, their love of Hebrew language and tefillah, and their Yiddishkeit is what drives us to know that they are our future.